Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon P7000 and Nikon P7800. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon P7000 and the Nikon P7800 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 23rd of November 2010 and the 25th of November 2013. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon P7000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon P7800. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon P7000 and the Nikon P7800. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon P7000. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon P7800. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon P7000. I recently purchased the Nikon P7000 and have been very impressed with its performance. The camera is lightweight and easy to use, and the macro mode is amazing. The controls are intuitive and the camera's image stabilization works well. I've used it for both casual shooting and professional work, and it has exceeded my expectations. Overall, I cannot imagine a better point-and-shoot camera. This camera is a great buy at the current price and produces excellent quality images. The build quality is substantial and it has plenty of controls. It's not as fast as an SLR but is very convenient to carry around. The battery life is impressive, and the camera has become my go-to for everyday use. The autofocus is fast, and there are some fun scene and settings options. The only downside is that the image quality can be hit or miss in low light, and the menu system can be a little confusing. Overall, it's exceeded my expectations and I highly recommend it. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon P7800. The Nikon P7800 is a fantastic travel camera with professional controls, great image quality, and low light performance. It was convenient to carry around and provided impressive results, especially in low light settings. I found it more practical to use while exploring cities compared to my larger DSLR kit. Overall, it's a great camera for travel and I recently purchased this high-end point-and-shoot camera after researching for almost a year. It has great photo quality, good low-light performance, and is suitable for sports action shots. I appreciate the viewfinder and tilting screen, but wish it had a B&W grainy effect like my previous camera. It feels a bit bulky and plasticky, but I'm satisfied with the photos I've taken so far. I mainly use it for artistic and family shots. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon P7000 we will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Nikon P7800. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. 